Uh, let's talk about let's let's talk about the Chiefs again. April second is the vote. If it's a no, Jackson County is. I I believe you personally have an eighty percent chance of losing the Royals. Now for the Chiefs, that that's going to be within the same vote on April second. They're asking for quite a bit of money, especially after the Chiefs owner and their facilities received horrible grades uh, by NFL players. Uh, Clark Hunt was named the 32nd owner out of 32. He is literally the worst owner out of all the owners, uh, as well as our training staff was 32nd worst out of all the training staffs in the entire NFL uh, along with an, another handful and plethora of B and F grades handed out by players of the Kansas City Chiefs, I I have a feeling we got to know that that training staff bullshit is 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 a little skewed, man. Patrick Mahomes and his injuries over over the past couple of years, the 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 toe injury. Uh, I think it's really just more referring to as far as like how much, how many people are there working on people and how big the facility actually is. Preventative measures, making sure that they're able to get issues taken care of before they arise. And that was the information that was given out. They actually came out and said, this is what the players were saying. It was preventative measures, making sure there was enough training staff. There's enough training staff to take care of when the injuries happen, but not to make sure that they don't need them. Chalk comes back to the owner, Clark Hunt, not willing to fork over the money to improve those things. Yeah, but we like, did you guys hear about? Did you guys hear about the, the locker room? room? It's the facility locker room, not the stadium locker room. As it well, it doesn't matter, they just, dude. They did well. They did just re- renovate the stadium locker room, so there was a lot of confusion about that on Twitter. They did just redo the stadium locker room, although they only get in that locker room what. 10 times a year at most. So it's the practice facility and the practice locker rooms where they spend 99% of their time, but their entire practice facility needs renovating. Yeah. But just to promise your guys that you're going to get a whole entire new locker room yep. and, and they come back it. and you just get a chair with a back on it instead after because winning a Super Bowl. You, because you played too long into the postseason. That was, you guys are too good. You. All we're going to give you is a chair with a back now. Back. Come on, Clark. Now, Clark is asking the citizens of Jackson County to also fork over hundreds of millions of dollars as they have let me, new. Yeah, go ahead. Well, let me ask you this. What, what are the what are the teams that scored in the top 10, top five type shit? Shitty teams. Is this the, is this the price that we have to pay for winning Super Bowls? Is Is this the price that we have to pay for... Denver was in the top five of of ownership and facilities. Where are they at? <laughs> Where are they at? They are they in the no playoffs? A football team. Are they in the playoffs? Uh, do they still have Russell Wilson? Yes. Do they have? A, I don't think Russell's the problem. That's you a that's a topic Russell's for another the day. Problem. That's He's a topic a for another day. They're the Broncos. They just suck anyways. That's a topic for another day. There, yes, but most of the most of the ownership groups and facilities that were in the upper tier were team had teams that were not very good. I, I basically what that tells me is our ownership group, specifically Clark Hunt, knows the the correct business decisions to make to have a winning football team. And that's what matters to me. God damn it. I will say one of the worst things on that list, and it wasn't even about the Chiefs. It was about the Bengals. The Bengals are the only team in the league to not provide three meals per day in their cafeteria. They only provide three meals one day a week on Wednesdays. And there are multiple days where they do not provide any meals to their players because it's technically their off days. Welcome. Shout out Bengals, man. (laughs) <laughs> that's why joe burrow is always hurt he'll never win anything he's malnourished yeah he's malnourished <laughs> <laughs> Does, doesn't get enough to sustain himself let's so clark hunt and uh the rest of the brass at the kansas city chiefs are asking for hundreds of millions of dollars from uh the 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 citizens of jackson county 
full renovations to Arrowhead. These renovations would include a new, new turf covered activation zone with a tailgate area and covered entertainment space built over where the K was or would be once they tear it down. A new upper concourse connection bridge creating 360 degree access and more concessions for the upper deck. An upper concourse canopy providing weather protection, including heaters and fans for the upper deck. I believe that. New VIP stadium entry points will make it easier for all fan traffic. New sideline club at the lower level. Think of the Super Bowl and uh, where the where the lower level like club seats were for the Raiders. New video boards likely to be in the ballpark of Dallas, L.A., Las Vegas. We would still keep the oval shape, but up, upgraded there. We'd have upgraded TVs and Wi-Fi throughout the stadium. New end zone clubs and suites, again, very much like the Las Vegas Allegiant Stadium. New concession stands and retail spaces and restrooms. New field access tunnels will provide a new field access point for visiting teams. All of the traditional concession stands will be converted to a modern grab-and-go market throughout the concourse, uh, resulting in an anticipated increase in speed of service by 30 to 40%. That's Tybo's favorite. He loves to just steal people's food. Dog. That, that okay, I... Not enough people watch this fucking podcast for me to like be okay giving this information out, dog. I even with the increased uh uh staff at Arrowhead like uh over the past couple of years like when they first brought those grab and grow, um kiosks or uh concession stands, I I could go grab a burger, some chicken strips. Like I I could grab a bunch of shit and just go click on the screen. Like I only got like fries dog and pay like five dollars <laughs> or or eight dollars however much fucking stadium fries are and just get a fucking long haul of some shit now they got like two motherfuckers posted at those things like <laughs> hey what you got what you what you got <laughs> see your receipt but, <laughs> like if they if they extend if they expand all of our concession stands to grab and go kiosks like there's no stopping it. You you treat it just like a self checkout at Walmart, man. Like you you get a hundred dollars worth of groceries and you're only paying like sixty dollars. Okay, like you grab and go. You grab and get the fuck out. <laughs> few more few but, more additions to this. Oh, go ahead. Well, I mean, go ahead because I I think I'm gonna add on to this at the end. Yeah. So just a a few uh, finishing touches here. Uh, the new pedestrian or three new pedestrian bridges will eliminate interruptions to the uh, vehicular traffic flow. So there's already a big issue with the pedestrian walkways walking across. Everything is going to go over all of the roads so that nobody is blocking traffic. It can just be free flowing, which also means that there's going to be a better ride share experience closer into the stadium in and out for those Uber and lifts, taxis, anything else that's going on. You'll also have new parking uh, deck on the south side of the stadium with expanded parking on the north side of the stadium uh, as well. Lot O will have RV parking lot um, that will be expanded, paved, and then permanently lit with restroom facilities, with permanent restroom facilities added, not, not any more porta johns So that is going to be a big piece of the renovation that I think will help out a lot of the, the consumer experience for Arrowhead is the traffic and the pedestrian walkways along with some permanent, hopefully cleaned restrooms. I doubt it. Uh, but that would be, that would be a big help to a lot of the flow for Arrowhead. So these proposed renovations um fall along the lines of what I suggested quite some time ago. You can you can run the tape. There's there's a show uh I think before the season even started this year uh when they were they were originally talking about Kaufman moving downtown. If if Kaufman gets bulldozed, knocked down, fucking destroyed, whatever the 
whatever you may be. I was proposing like a like a mini district that had different yard bars, you know, bars that have um, attractions for people to come and tailgate at. Right. So. The, these proposed renovations kind of touch along those lines, and I I think it it's it would be a dream come true for a lot of Kansas City fans, man. Like all the other shit that you're talking about, that's gonna get fixed. Like everybody wants real bathrooms, everybody wants easier traffic, everybody wants more parking. Nobody, nobody wants to get caught out on the gravel parking lots out of Arrowhead. Okay, like all, all the shit you're talking about is gonna make a lot of fans happy. But I feel like there's some extra shit that should be involved with this, man. Like all the, all the proposed renovations sound great, but I think they're missing a key point of what makes. Kansas City football, Kansas City sports in general, just like one of the greatest experiences in the country. And that's the tailgating experience. If there's not if there's not more of a focus on enhancing that tailgating experience, then then we're we're missing out on on what could be. You know? These what would you all, propose all these that all to these be? changes. What are, what are the things that are being missed? So my 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 original proposal uh what like when Kaufman gets tore down we take that parking lot space and that stadium space and and turn it into like attractions almost like bars and like a ballpark village but for Arrowhead essentially but not kind of. to that, not to that scale yeah, but like there's more yard games involved. Like the 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 typical shit that you see at tailgates like uh hillbilly golf and cornhole and like they should have that stuff already available so that people don't have to bring their own shit, you know? Like you you and and open the gates a little bit earlier for motherfuckers, okay? Like if people if people want to go and spend their money and 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 be there at 5 a.m. for a noon game. Let these motherfuckers. You that that is bank waiting to be made. Because I guarantee you, a lot of motherfuckers in in the Kansas City area will pay for the convenience of not having to bring their own stuff to that district, to that parking lot, to play their fun games, to to drink alcohol, to to eat food. Like there's there's so much possibility that you could do with that cleared space. If if Kaufman's gone, there's so many things that you could add to enhance the fan experience for Arrowhead. Yeah, now they're just looking at putting a hundred yards of turf there and making it a possible amphitheater. Fuck that. <laughs> the 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 walkways and the parking and that and that stuff sounds great. But yeah, whatever they need to build extra... up a they need to build up that nightlife around there. And that that includes, I think, more than just that area, but you really do. And that's uh, you know, that's one of the things that you would get with moving the Chiefs to the suburbs of the Kansas side should, should that again, go out and vote. Hey, hey, I'm not, we're not telling you whether to say yes or no, it's going to be what it is. None of us live in Jackson County. You make that decision on your own. At at the same time, if you're voting, no, just know there's an 80% chance that the Royals are gone. And there is a 50, 50 shot that chiefs stay. You're, if you're voting no, you better be banking on NBA or NHL, another major sports team that's going to move in. Yeah, and all the revenue that you think like th- that you're losing by having them there, the Royals and the Chiefs, you know, the community centers down there that are that are thinking, hey, you know, uh, by by extending this tax 
it, it's hurting, you know, some of the communities and whatnot. Think about how much taxes, how much money is not going to be spent in your area because it's now trafficked somewhere else because you lost the things that drive the economy. P&L may move. Would not be surprised. T-Mobile Arena, is that going to stick around? I don't know. You're losing. You're going to lose a lot of the stuff that's down there because all of it may get bought out too. How do you move P and L? You pick it up and you move it, <laughs> you it and you take it. Up. We take bikini bottom <laughs> and we push, and we push it push somewhere it. else. <laughs> p &L will always be there, but I'm saying like the nightlife that goes there may find a different spot if, no, if something country, else pops up. Country bumpkin Kansas City motherfuckers are always going to go to p &L, and that's never going to change. <laughs> unless, gonna... unless another one gets built somewhere else where the nightlife moves to. Fucking Clay Como, get out of here. <laughs> Wyandotte, Wyandotte, Wyandotte County. Wyandotte <laughs> County Chiefs. <laughs> In the dark. Come <laughs> Come to the hey. dot. <laughs> Why the Wyandotte County Chiefs? That's what they're about to be if you vote no on Fuck April the 2. Dot, man. It, <laughs> no. 